There was a lot of fangirling and word vomiting and possibly collapsing on the floor from shock, but that's a story for another time. <laughs> I never believed that I'd have the opportunity to meet one of my heroes, but that's exactly what happened last summer when I met Zay Frank. If you don't know who Zay Frank is, writer's video on a brief history of Zay Frank should give you an idea of his greatness. I will link that video down below. I could tell you that I was totally calm and collected when I met Zay, but that would be a big fat lie. Here's what happened. I was attending VidCon 2015 the annual conference slash convention for online video held in California every summer. I was in the lobby of the Hilton to visit my friends who were lucky enough to get a room there during the convention. Anyone who's been to VidCon knows that the Hilton is the hotel that gets the most traffic during the convention because that's where all the big YouTubers stay. The lobby was packed with fangirls hoping to get a glimpse of their favorite YouTubers as they exit the elevators. Totally unaware of the fact that there was a hidden elevator that the famous YouTubers use to avoid the masses. I know this because after visiting my friends at the Hilton, I'd forget which elevator to take down to the lobby, so I'd mistakenly get in this hidden elevator, writing it down with famous YouTubers. Anyway, I'm in the lobby with my friends Jackie and Itzel, and we're waiting to ride the elevator up to their room. There is a horde of fangirls camped in front of the elevator, and rather than waiting, we walk away and try to find another elevator with a smaller crowd. We come across a second elevator, but the crowd in front of that is even bigger. We're about to give up and go back to the first elevator, but suddenly, the sea of fangirls parts, and a looming figure stands among them. At this point, Everything happens in slow motion. The figure starts walking in my direction, silhouetted against the bright lobby lights. It's only when the figure starts to pass me that I can actually see his face and <laughs> I completely lose it. The first words out of my mouth are, oh my god. I literally jump back and say again, oh my god, because that's all I can get out of my mouth because my brain has stopped working. The figure stops, looks down at me, and sure enough, it's Zay Frank. He gives me the smile that's warm enough to melt the mental block that I have, and suddenly I've found my words again. I don't remember the actual words I said to Zay, but I'm pretty sure it's something like, Oh my god, you're Zay Frank. Uh, I love you so much. Uh, I can't even begin to thank you for what you've done for online video. You're a true pioneer. I'm so grateful for your work, and can I please have a photo with you? He laughs and says, sure. And so with shaking hands, I hand my phone to my friend Jackie. Say so he's a tall guy, so he crouches down to my level. I freeze up because I can't think about anything else other than the fact that we're physically touching and I know that if I move, I'll collapse from shock. We take the photo, I thank him and shake his hand enthusiastically, and he thanks me for the kind words with the biggest grin on his face. He turns to walk away, the sea of fangirls parts, and as soon as he's out of sight, I lose the feeling in my legs and collapse. Eventually I got up, tweeted the photo, texted everyone I knew who would appreciate the story, and then spent the rest of the night unable to sleep because, oh my god, I met Zay Frank. So that's the story of how I met Zay. Do I wish things had gone differently? In some ways, yes. I wish I had spoken more eloquently about how he inspired me to take on web video, but I think he understood and appreciated my enthusiasm. Looking back now, I should have given him my business card and said, Hey Zay, you still looking for video interns? But overall, I'm happy with the experience, and it makes for a great story. Thank you to Twitter for helping me decide to make this video for today, and thank you to Liz, Ryan, Sarah, and Steve for encouraging me to make this video in the first place. The video you saw at the beginning is one that I recently made for NFI about my bucket list. So, if that's something you'd like to see, I will link that down below. Leah also made a video for NFI about love, and you should definitely check that out. Speaking of Leah, we have a collab video coming up where we talk about a certain movie with Oscar buzz, and fingers crossed it'll be going up soon. As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you in a couple weeks. In the meantime, I'll be hanging out in comments if you want to chat.